fasten your seatbelts, to experience research-based immunity-boosting exercises and yoga. It will include 15 exercises of 3 rounds, having the 10 seconds of rest in between. Try these exercises and yoga every day for optimum results. All the best. To get the latest updates on yoga, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And subscribe to Dr. Zio's YouTube channel to get a more interesting yoga workout. Day 3, Full Body, Immunity Boosting Workout, Round 1 Beginner Level Will Pose, Chakra Sauna, How to Do, Lie Down on the Back with Two Hands on Your Side Then, Bend the Knees and Bring Heels as Near to Your Buttocks Your Heels Should Be Bit Apart Now, Raise Your Hands and Bring Them Back to the Side of Your Ears You Can Place Your Palms on Ground by Using Your Fingers Directing Towards Shoulders Lift Body Up by Using the Proper Support of Your Feet as Well as Palms Stretch your shoulder and thighs. Maintain this pose, based on your capacity. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Reduces cramps at the calf, hamstrings and quadriceps improves the functioning of the thyroid gland stretches the shoulders, chest, and front ankles strengthens the arms, core, legs and back. Next exercise, low lunge pose, and Janayashana. Get a free immunity booster premium app on your phone today. It includes a personal health trainer, and an immunity boosting diet with all premium features, boosts your health in 7 days. Download this free app today. Take some rest. Next exercise, low lunge pose, and Janayashana, how to do. Start in a Domakasa Vanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Step your right foot ahead, between your hands. Lower your left knee to the ground, sliding the foot back until you feel a good stretch in the left hip and thigh. Sweeping the arms up alongside your ears. Turn the palms to face one another. Take your side up to your fingertips. Hold for 30 seconds. Repeat same pose with other leg as well. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Benefits. It stretches the hip flexors, hamstrings, and groin. It creates low spine stability and strengthens the thighs, quadriceps, and glutes which contribute well to increase height. Next exercise. High kicks. Take some rest. Next exercise. High kicks. How to do. Reach your right arm straight out in front of you, parallel with the ground. Your hand should be straight with your palm facing the ground. Step forward to put your weight on your left foot and kick your right foot up towards your hand with your toes flexed. You should work towards touching your toes to your palm. Repeat while alternating legs. Repeat the exercise. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It stretches the hip flexors, hamstrings, and groin. It creates low spine stability and strengthens the thighs, quadriceps, and glutes which contribute well to increase height. Next exercise. Eagle Pose, Garudasana. Take some rest. Next exercise. Eagle Pose, Garudasana. How to do. Stand into Dasana. Inflexibly ground your right foot into the floor. Gently bend the right knee and cross the left leg over it. Tuck the left ankle behind the right calf stretch the arms straight in front of you. Bend the elbows. Keep the forearms perpendicular to the floor and drop the left arm under the right. Interweave the hands so that the palms touch each other and fingers point upwards. Try to lengthen the backbone and arise through the crown of the head while maintaining the balance. Relax the shoulders and look at a fixed point in front of you. To exit the pose, unwind the legs and hands and stand in the mountain pose. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go.
Benefits Strengthens your inner thighs and ankles, stretches your calves and upper back, improves balance, helps alleviate sciatica and rheumatism. Next exercise, child pose, hair pose, balasana. To get interesting updates on yoga, follow us on our Dr. Zio's Pinterest. Take some rest. Next exercise, child pose, hair pose, balasana. How to do, start in Vajrasana, thunderbolt posture, kneeling relax your torso forward over the thighs. You can bring your knees a little apart if this makes it more comfortable for you. For Shashankasana, hair, stretch your arms out in front of you like the ears of a hair for child's pose bring the hands back behind the hips in the way that you may see a child or baby sleeping. Breathe and hold for 4 to 12 breaths. To release, place the palms under the shoulders and slowly inhale up to a seated position. Ready to go, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It stretches the hip flexors, hamstrings, and groin. It creates low spine stability and strengthens the thighs, quadriceps, and glutes which contribute well to increase height. Day 3, Full Body, Immunity Boosting Workout, Round 2 Intermediate Level Upward Plank Pose, Pravatmashana, How to Do Be seated with your legs outstretched in front of you in Dandasana Place your hands a little behind your hips with the fingers directing towards the toes, point your toes Roll your inner thighs in, draw your belly in and up, and as you inhale, lift your hips up as high as you can, keeping your jaw to your chest Firm your shoulder edges on your back to help lift your chest up. When your chest is lifted you may choose to bring your head back. Keep your chin tucked when you bring your head back, to the point where you can keep it tucked anymore. Then gently release your head. Otherwise, if this feels too much for your neck, keep your head up and your chin towards your chest. Stay here for about 5 breaths, then as you exhale, lower your hips back down into Dandasana. Ready to go, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, go. Benefits. Reduces cramps at the calf, hamstrings and quadriceps improves the functioning of the thyroid gland stretches the shoulders, chest, and front ankles strengthens the arms, core, legs and back. Next exercise, low lunge pose, and Janayashana. Take some rest. Next exercise, Shrenmukhi Madra, how to do. Start in a Domakasa Banasana, downward facing dog. Step your right foot ahead, between your hands. Lower your left knee to the ground, sliding the foot back until you feel a good stretch in the left hip and thigh. Sweeping the arms up alongside your ears. Turn the palms to face one another. Take your side up to your fingertips. Hold for 30 seconds. Repeat same pose with other leg as well. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Great for facial muscles and appearance as the heat and prana of the hands and fingers stimulates and relaxes facial muscles. Useful for managing anxiety and removing negative intellectual patterns. It stimulates sensory organs and later stages sense withdrawal. Brings about focus, introversion and calmness. Next exercise, Hero Pose, Varishana. Take some rest. Next exercise, Hero Pose, Varishana, How to Do. Bring the knees to the floor with the knees together and the feet hips width apart. Wisely sit back on your heels with the heels touching the outside of hips. Rest the hands on the knees with the palms facing up or down. Press the lower legs down into the floor and reach the crown of the head up to lengthen the spine. 
Drop the shoulders down and back, and press the chest towards the front of the room. Relax the face, jaw, and belly. Let the tongue rest on the roof of the mouth, just behind the front teeth. Breathe deeply through the nose down into the belly. Hold as long as comfortable. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Stretches ankles, tops of the feet, knees, and legs. Reduces swelling of the legs during pregnancy, through the second trimester, energizes the legs when they are tired. Improves digestion and relieves gas. Next exercise. Gamakasan, cow face pose. Take some rest. Next exercise. Gamakasan, cow face pose. How to do. Sit on the yoga mat with your back straight and legs extended in front of you. Put your feet together and place your palms next to your hips. Bend your right leg and place the right feet under your left buttock. Stack your left knee over your right knee. Raise the left arm above your head and bend the elbow. Simultaneously, bring the right arm behind your back and interlock both hands. Take deep breaths and stay as long as you are comfortable. Now, as you exhale, release your arms. Uncross your legs and repeat other side. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Strengthens muscles of ankles, hips, thighs, shoulders, triceps, inner armpits and chest stimulates kidneys, helps in high blood pressure reduces stress and anxiety. Next exercise, fish pose, Matsyasana. Take some rest. Next exercise, fish pose, Matsyasana. How to do, middle dot stretches your deep hip flexors and intercostals, muscles between the ribs. Middle dot relieves tension in your neck, throat, and shoulders. Middle dot stretches and tones the front of your neck and your abdominals. Middle dot stretches and stimulates the organs of your belly and throat. Middle dot strengthens your upper back and the back of your neck. Middle dot relieves stress and irritation. Middle dot improves posture. Middle dot therapeutic for rounded shoulders, asthma, spasms in the bronchial tubes, and other respiratory issues. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Fish pose is a backbending yoga posture that opens the chest, throat, and abdomen. It is usually used as the counterpost to shoulder stand, Sarvangasana, because it neutralizes pressure on the neck and spine, but it is also a deep stretch with many benefits in its own right. To get interesting updates on yoga, follow us on our Dr. Zio's Twitter. Day 3, Full Body, Immunity Boosting Workout, Round 3 Advanced Level. Wind Relieving Pose, Kavana Muktasana, How to Do, Lie Down on Your Back with Your Legs Together and Arms Nearby Your Body. Bring Your Right Knee in Towards Your Chest and Push the Thigh on Your Stomach with Fastened Hands. Raise Your Head and Chest Off the Ground and Touch Your Jaw to Your Right Knee. Hold this pose for up to one minute. Repeat same with left leg knee. Finally, draw both knees to your chest. After 15 minus 20 seconds. Release and relax. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Stretches and strengthens the back and abdominal muscles. Helps in digestion and release of gas. Trigger the burning of fat. Tones the muscles in the legs and arms. Improves blood circulation in the hip joints. Next exercise. Shoulder stand. Sarvangasan. Take some rest. Next exercise. Shoulder stand. Sarvangasan. How to do. 
Lie on the back. The arms lie beside the body with the palms facing up. Inhaling, lift your legs off the floor, raising your legs straight up at a 90 degree angle. Exhaling raise the waist and the hips from the floor and take the legs backwards over the head. Inhaling raise the back and the legs up into a vertical position, placing the hands on the upper back for support. The chin should rest against the chest, creating the chin lock. Fix the eyesight on the toes and maintaining the asana. Continue normal breathing. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. It strengthens the arms and shoulders and keeps the spine flexible. It nourishes the brain with more blood. Next exercise, Pigeon Pose, Ika Padaranja Kapadasana. Take some rest. Next exercise, Pigeon Pose, Ika Padaranja Kapadasana. How to do? Bring your right knee forward towards your right wrist. Depending on your body it may be just behind your wrist or to the outer or the inner edge of it. Experiment with what feels right for you, giving you a stretch on your outer hip without any discomfort in your knee. Your right ankle will be somewhere in front of your left hip. Slide your left leg back and point your toes, your heel is pointing up to the ceiling. Scissor your hips together, by drawing your legs in towards each other. Use some support under your right buttock if needed, to keep your hips level. By way of you inhale, come onto your fingertips, lengthen your spine, draw your navel in and open your chest. By way of you exhale, walk your hands forward and lower your upper body towards the ground. You can rest your forearms and forehead on the mat. Stay for 5 breaths or longer. On each exhalation, try to release the tension in your right hip. To come out of the pose, push back through the hands, lift your hips and move your leg back into all fours. Repeat the pose on the other side. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Increases the external range of motion of femur in the hip socket increases circulation to urinary, digestive, and reproductive systems. Stretches the thighs, gluteal, piriform Next exercise, chair pose, yutkatasana. Take some rest. Next exercise. Chair pose, Yudkatasana. How to do? Stand upright with your feet slightly apart. Stretch out your hands to the front with palms facing down. Do not bend your elbows. Send your hips back rather than your knees forward, as if you are sitting in an imaginary chair. Raise your arms up around your ears and soften your shoulders. After 15 minus 20 seconds. Release and relax. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Benefits. Stretches and strengthens hips, chest, ankles, thighs, calves, and spine. Balances the body and brings determination in the mind tones the thigh, ankle, leg and knee muscles stimulates the abdominal organs, diaphragm, and heart. Next exercise. Camel pose, Ustrasana. Take some rest. Next exercise. Camel pose, Ustrasana. How to do? Start the asana by kneeling on your mat and placing your hands on your hips. You must ensure that your knees and shoulders are in the same line, and the soles of your feet are facing the maximum. Inhale, and draw your tailbone in towards your pubis. You must feel the pull at the navel. While you are doing that, arch your back. Gently slide your palms over your feet and straighten your arms. Keep your neck in a neutral position. It should not be strained. Hold the position for about 30 to 60 seconds before you release the pose. Ready to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Benefits. Stretches the entire front of the body, the ankles, thighs and groins, 
abdomen and chest, and throat stimulates the organs of the abdomen and neck helps overcome menstrual discomfort relieves the body of lower back ache and improves digestion.